Hi, in this video, I want to talk about acceleration. But before I go to acceleration, let's see displacement and velocity and revisit them up for a bit. What is displacement? Let's say I have a point A and a point B. An object travels from point A to point B. It can take this route or this path or it can go this way. But what we are concerned about in displacement is the net change in position. It has changed its position, changed its position from A to B. The object has changed. That displacement can be 5 meters and in a particular direction because displacement is a vector quantity. 5 meters this way is different from 5 meters in this direction because it's a vector quantity. Direction matters. Now, that's a change in position. Yes. But what about uh, if I do the same change in displacement, if it happens in 2 seconds, it can also happen in 5 seconds, right? It can also take 10 seconds. So what is the quantity that measures this difference? So this is called velocity. Velocity is nothing but the rate of change of displacement. I can go from A to B, I can get displaced from A to B in 2 seconds, which means I have a faster velocity compared to getting displaced from A to B in 10 seconds, which is lesser velocity. So this is fastest, the next fastest and the slowest. So this is velocity. What do we do in velocity? What, what does velocity do? It just moves the object at a faster rate or a slower rate every second. Suppose I say I have a velocity of 5 meter per second then every second I am getting displaced 5 meters in a particular direction. Now, in the same flow, what is acceleration? Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity. What do we mean by rate of change of velocity? How much does velocity change every second for an object? Let's say I go from a to B and uh, I take 2 seconds to go from A to B in this direction. Now in the first second, there are 2 seconds in this total uh, movement from A to B. In the second number 1, my velocity is 5 meter per second. And the next second, my velocity, the second uh, instance of the second, the second second, my velocity changes to 10 meter per second. So obviously in the first one second I have covered 5 meters. In the next second I have covered 10 meters. So total distance covered or displacement is 15 meters. So I get displaced by 15 meters. But what has happened? The velocity has increased from 5 meter per second to 10 meter per second in one second. That means I have added 5 meter per second to the existing velocity and that is called acceleration. How rapidly or how quickly the velocity itself changes. So that is called the rate of change of velocity that is called acceleration. So here from 5 meter per second it has changed to 10 meter per second. So the change is 5 meter per second per second. In one second I have changed from 5 meter per second to 10 meter per second. So the rate is 5 meter per second per second which is nothing but 5 meter per second square. That's how we get the unit for acceleration as meter per second square. Let's try and understand this in the form of some plots. If uh, let's say we have an object moving at a uniform velocity, uniform with a uniform acceleration of 10 meter per second square. What does it mean? Every second 10 meter per second is added to its existing velocity. I go, I'm going at x meter per second velocity. The next second it becomes x plus 10. The next second it becomes x plus 10 plus 10. So the velocity is increased every second at the rate of 10 meter per second. If it happens at 15 meter per second square, then it's a faster acceleration because the rate of change of velocity is higher. So at any instant in time, the acceleration is uniform means 10 meter per second is getting added to the velocity of the object every second. Now, when the acceleration is uniform, what happens to the velocity? 
velocity time graph if you see in the first second the acceleration the velocity from 0 10 meter per second gets added per second so in the first second 10 gets added so velocity changes from 0 to 10 after 1 second after 2 seconds 10 gets added so velocity is 20 after 3 seconds 10 gets added so velocity is 30 meter per second so you can see that if the acceleration is uniform the chart of velocity the plot is a inclined, straight line with a slope so now let's see what happens to displacement this is displacement versus time when velocity is increasing every second let's say in the first second the origin is uh, let's assume the the position is zero in one second the first second the object is moving at it started at zero meters per second but at the end of one second it is at 10 meters per second so if we take the average of the velocity 0 to 10 in one second in an on an average see it has changed from 0 to 10 in the entire second so the total it, it cannot be 10 throughout it has started at 0 meter per second and at the end of the first second only it's 10 so if you see on an average you can say it has traversed 5 meters right this is all in meter because it cannot be 10 meter per second throughout initially it was 0 then slowly it increased so on an average it would have covered 10 meters sorry uh, 5 meters in this time interval in the first second but if you see in the second it increases from 10 meters per second to 20 that uh, that means it is not immediately jumping from 20 to 20 here it increases and then it becomes 20 at this point so you can take approximately it's 15 meters per second throughout this journey this instance which means it has moved 15 meters in the next second so already it had displaced 5 meters then it displaced itself 15 meters so which means in the second instance it is moved at 15 meters so from 5 it has gone plus 15 it has become 20 so if we plot it it will be here and it will be here so the graph will look steeper so uh, you can see that the chart of displacement will look steeper and steeper as time goes on so this is the relationship between acceleration velocity and displacement thank you